Hey guys, Kevin here, you're with The Modern Creatures, and welcome to another video. Today's unboxing will appeal to users who enjoy the home theater experience, or to users who just want their content to be seen on a bigger screen. What we have right here is the JM GO 01 Ultra Short Throw Projector, and for those not familiar with the brand, JM GO has been around since 2011, and they've been working on the smart projection technology since then, so it's no longer a surprise that they came up with this one. So just a quick one, what does it mean by Ultra Short Throw Projector? Well, obviously, it's the opposite of a long throw projector, duh, and it basically offers portability and easy setup wherever you put it. And on top of it being an ultra short throw projector, it also comes with smart features that should help users in their day-to-day -day lives. So without further ado, let's get to it and see what's inside and let's begin the unboxing. So it comes in this white package right here, white box with a minimalist design. You see the JM GO branding right here and it says co-created with Dyn Audio, which we will try on later on. At the side, you have Luna OS, which is its operating system. Up front, you have this Wonder Wall written here. And I guess it's because it turns your wall into a Wonder Wall and it doesn't have any connection to Oasis. There's this magnetic flap right here when you open it. And you're introduced to this sheet of paper with like this O1 design right there. So it's a nice touch. It kind of has this premium vibe when you open it. And you're introduced to its manual and user guide. You also have this invitation that you can scan with a QR code. And finally, we reveal the device itself wrapped in this plastic. But before that, let's first check out what else is in the box. There's this smaller box right here which has all the accessories, I'm guessing. Yeah, it says accessories. And let's open it. Okay, let's do that again. So we have the power cables right here. You have the adapter as well as this white and minimalist remote. So it's nice and it kind of blends well with the device itself which we'll check out right now. Here it is, let's pull it out of its sleeve. And there we go. Up front you have the brand JM GO co-created with Dyn Audio, and you have the Wonder Wall branding right here as well. So it comes in like this two-tone color with the silver up front and kind of like a matte white for its back. Over here we have the ports, of course you have the LAN for connectivity, SPDIF, two USB ports for installing APK files, HDMI ARC and HDMI and of course for power as well. There's a big circle button at the top and you also have your lens right here and right there you see designed by JM GO and you also have dual speakers left and right. So there are actually two models in the O1 series. So one is the O1 which we have right here and there's also the O1 Pro. It's basically the same thing but it comes with optics co-engineered with Leica. So you know it produces better picture quality and all that and of course it comes at a heftier price tag. So that's basically everything that's in the box. I think now it's time to set this up. We're gonna set this up right here. We're gonna clear this and have it project on this wall. Let's see how it turns out and let's check out more of its features. Okay, so as soon as I was able to power it up, it automatically adjusted its focus as well as its auto keystone already kicked in. So I didn't have to manually focus it or manually adjust its keystone, its corners, which we were used to doing with previous projectors, right? With those long throw projectors. So for the O1 Ultra Short Throw Projector, that's no longer needed. And what you need is just basically power it on and that's it. And as you can see, it already has apps preloaded in the system. You have Netflix, you have YouTube. Spotify, Facebook, even Deezer and HBO Max. So you have those ready to access and as I mentioned earlier, you can still uh, add apps to it, install more apps to it using a USB drive plug it in at the back and just install it like any APK file. And if you want to increase the size, you can simply move the projector away from the wall and it can go as big as 100 inches or even more I think. So now let's try connecting it to the internet and see more of its features. Alright, so we just logged into our Netflix account so far, no fuss, it was easy, but then it took quite a while to get to it because we were typing our username and password through this remote right here and you have to choose each letter and that takes quite some time. But JMGO has this app which you can download to your phone so you can search or log in to your accounts 
through there faster and easier. Let me remove the light on my face so that we can see more of the picture quality, okay? Okay, so first impressions, picture quality is great, details are good, and colors are vibrant as you can see, as long as there's not much uh, light around it. And um, contrast is also good, the darks are not too dark. And yeah, if you can notice, it has this kind of 60 hertz refresh rate upscaling. So that should be good for some users, although I want to see if there's an option to turn it off for that um, movie cinematic effect. So I think this is it right here, motion compensation. Let's choose low for now. And you also have other choices for settings like HDR, color temperature, game mode if you want. Noise reduction, you can choose between low, medium, high, or off. And image mode, you can choose between standard, colorful, user. As you can see, there are Chinese uh, options in the menu, but I'm sure a software update over the air should easily fix this and turn everything English. You have projection mode, aspect ratio, autofocus calibration. Okay, now it's calibrating. Autofocus, digital zoom, de-warping. You can control the fan. If it's full speed or I guess default. For connectivity, you have a few options. You have wireless LAN, or you can go for a cable. You can go for that route. And you also have hotspot and as well as Bluetooth. I was able to connect this remote controller to the projector itself. So now I'm able to use its voice functionality commands by just pressing this button right here. It will bring up Amazon Alexa and you can use your voice to hear news, check the weather and all that by just simply talking to the mic in the remote control. As I mentioned, there are already preloaded apps right here, but I just found out that you, you still need to download them, which didn't take long. It just took a few seconds. But yeah, just a heads up for you guys. Another thing I noticed is that the device is also quiet even with its fans on there's a little hum to it but it doesn't bother you especially if you have the volume on if you're watching for audio performance sound quality is pretty clear and it does have a good amount of detail and clarity as for loudness it's pretty loud but I could go for more volume so if you have this and you want really a home theater experience you can hook it up to a good set of speakers and it will really solve everything and it will give you better sound definitely but for what it is for what it's doing i think it's enough what's that oh it gives you a warning that it's blocked cool it's pretty cool so anyway for this for what it is it's okay it's decent enough you could definitely use it as a standalone device if you don't have any speakers around, I think it would all already suffice. Okay, so another major advantage that I noticed using an ultra short throw projector is that when you use its default speaker system, the sound comes from in front of you where picture is seen. Compare that to your usual long throw projector that's usually situated behind you, right? So the sound is also coming from behind you while you're watching. With an ultra short throw projector, it's more natural and it's more immersive and definitely a more enjoyable experience. The JM Go 01 is now available worldwide with an early bird price of 699 US dollars on Indiegogo. Meanwhile, the 01 Pro is also available for 859 US dollars as an early bird price. This JM Go 01 will start shipping in August. Meanwhile, the 01 Pro will be available for delivery in September. We will also be doing a full review on this device, so stay tuned for that. And that's about it for our JM Go 01 Ultra Short Throw Projector unboxing and first impressions. As always, visit our website and follow us on our social media pages for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, that's it for me. I'm Kevin. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.